How's it going guys? We're looking at the little 12 volt compressor conversion. Um, if you've seen the other video, we had uh, a lot of compression leaking around the cylinder head here. Um, I've just in the process of finding a uh, hex key that fits. This one's a little bit on the small side. But every one of these is completely loose. The head's actually uh, just sitting there nearly. So we're going to zip these out. Get these zipped out and um, inspect the head gasket, see what's actually going on. See whether there is a gasket, whether it's toast, whether it's still there, whether it's doing anything. And uh, then we'll test it again and compare our results, see how uh, see how quick it pumps up. Big positive, it's still full of pressure, look at that. So in that respect, oh, there's one. I don't actually know how the head's going to come off as the outlet pipe comes out the side, but um, let's see if we can't have a look and work out if there's a seal in there, and if there is a seal in there we'll just put it back together and uh, actually tension it up a bit. Okay. Just Bit of a fail, okay. Better get some CRC under them and get them undone. We'll just see if they undo. No, they're gonna spin. Alright, let's just talk the head back down properly. We'll be able to see if it leaks. And see what happens. Because they were literally just finger tight. Obviously after a bit of use it's um, going and uh, loosened itself off. It does get considerably warm so not a surprise. And uh, it's not the youngest little compressor. I think I bought it back when I had a four wheel drive so I haven't had a four wheel drive for five years. I never expected it to last actually, it was one of them, I should have done videos back then, I uh, used to quite often buy things with the expectation that they wouldn't be that awesome, uh, just to test them and see if they would prove me wrong or even surprise me a little bit, and uh, this is one of those items, as you can see it's still around. So we will have a 12 volt lens. Might run just off that battery. The uh, poor old soul is struggling today. And at 12.3 volts. Now we've got 160 watts coming in. It's autofocus. Horribly grey and overcast. Alright, let's see what happens here. Keeps leaking out of there. It's a, it's a hell of a lot quieter. It's the first thing I noticed. Um. Drop all the pressure out. You put the pressure in these tanks. Right, pressure's gone.
keeping the compressor unloaded for some reason. Still almost empty. Check valve's not open. Alright, I'll come back in a minute. Alright, so we'll open up the check valve here. She's gonna hiss like a champion. Pull the check valve out. The valve's meant to shut. I can't understand why it's staying open. Check valve back in. Check valve back. It's not even going in the tank, it's coming straight out the check valve. Okay. Next idea, I'll come back. Okay, so I've crimped that line off. Seems something up in here's failed. Even when you let the little plunger move up and down. Maybe it got too hot the other day or something. I'm not sure. The uh, heat coming out of the little director of compressor is substantial. <laughs> Like you can pump up your four-wheel drive tyres or whatever. 
out of that yeah that pop a few more little crimps in it now you might actually take that off and cap it but that's where a bit of the pressure's going so just still leaking to charge just uh, yeah, a bit of warm water or a bit of soapy water or whatever and the outside of the head and you might see some leaks catch us on the next feed